welcome back everyone now let us start problem number 43 which says find the capacitance per unit length of two coaxial metal cylindrical tubes of radii a and b in figure number 53 all right so problem 43 page number 107 so we have a cylindrical cylindrical tube cylindrical tube with inner radii as a and outer radii as b all right and we need to find the capacitance per unit length of two coaxial metal cylindrical tubes so as we know that capacitance is given by q is equal to or c is equal to q upon v and for to find uh, v we need e so first of all let us uh, solve for e e is the electric field so el electric field between the cylindrical tubes have uh, and and the let these cylindrical uh, tubes uh, tubes have charge q on them and the length is l or h height all right so apply gauss law here or a closed surface and taking the gaussian surface uh, the old, the old concept we discussed in our previous videos all right so we get uh, we get uh, e dot d a is equal to q upon epsilon naught where q is q enclosed this q is q enclosed inside the closed gaussian surface all right so we have e into uh, surface area of a cylindrical tube is 2 pi r into h let r be the uh, radius of that gaussian surface we are considering all right the cylindrical gaussian surface r be the radius of that so 2 pi r into capital h and q enclosed upon epsilon naught so e is let me just focus yes q enclosed upon epsilon naught into 2 pi r into h now we need v so v is minus e dot dl in the limits from a to b all right so on solving further we get q enclosed upon epsilon naught 2 pi r h and dr because uh, we are taking the uh, we have taken the gaussian radius of gaussian surface as r all right from a to b negative sign so v comes out to be mm, q enclosed upon 2 pi epsilon naught into h and ln from limits from uh, a to b because i have compensated the negative sign or you can uh, take the negative sign outside and then take the magnitude the answer will be the same nothing will, nothing, nothing is changed all right so now we need c so capacitance is q upon v so i get capacitance has 2 pi epsilon not h ln let me just take the magnitude i am taking negative sign taking the magnitude all right so uh, now i need capacitance per unit length so length is h here i have taken capacitance per unit length is 2 pi epsilon not ln b by a so this will be the answer for this question So that's all for this video see you in next video